Hi everybody, it's Jeff. Uh, since I was having so much fun with uh, working on Camel yesterday, I decided to work on it again today. So this will be a short one again. Uh, part 7 of the IBG uh, Bedford Bulfers Gun Tractor. 135th scale. That's a big long name. Anyway, um, I did get the cab all masked up and painted. I'll show you a picture in a little bit of the the before and then I'll show, I'll take a picture of the after. But um, Let's go down the bench and I'll show you what I was up to today. Be right back. Okay. Yeah, I cut out dozens and dozens of little circles this morning. And uh, I masked this all off. I sprayed it a couple hours ago. So it's had a little bit of a chance to... to uh, dry. I've got just a couple little places where the paint bled. I'm not sure if I'll fix them or not. We'll see. And you see Mickey Mouse right there? <laughs> I think it turned out okay. A little bit on the back there. I wasn't really concerned with following the design exactly. Let me show you this is what IBG gives you for a paint guide. It's very, very dark, black and white. You can just barely make out the pattern if you look real close there. So I was kind of guessing. But I've seen pictures of the, you know, the, the type of camo it is. and I think I came pretty close. So I still got the center part with the uh, you know, the crew compartment to do. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or not. We'll just have to see. But that's all painted inside and out. I've got the floor, I've got the floor that I've got to pop the seats on and stuff and then glue them up in there and then I've still got the uh, steering wheel and the glass and stuff to put on and that'll be done. So, pretty happy with that. Um... <clears throat> Here's the canvas part at the back. Um, one of you guys asked me about the patina on this. Because obviously, canvas will look a lot more worn than than the metal will. This will sit back here a little ways. But um, my thinking is is to take this khaki and just kind of do a real fine mist over the whole thing and tone all this down a little bit. And then later, after I get a clear coat on it, come back with some oils and kind of highlight some of the uh, places where there would be creases and things. That's just kind of where I'm thinking right now. Though I've still got this part to do. And there's a wall that goes in the front here. This will sit here. This, this, there's going to be the spare tire in the gas tank here, and then there's a wall here and another top. And then this will sit here over some boxes. That's something else I'm going to have to give some thought to. Because there's like three layers of, excuse me, I don't know if you can see it or not. There's this layer, and then there's at least two more layers of boxes uh, that stack up here. And I've got those already painted in the olive drab like this. But according to the instructions, the the um, camel pattern goes up into the boxes too. So what I'm thinking about doing is painting just this side, the side that faces out, black again, and leaving the rest of the box olive drab, and then doing the same thing with the with the uh, circles. And coming back in um, spraying the, the outside of the boxes again so that the pattern is like all the way from the bottom up into the boxes and on the back. So I'll see what I can do with it. It's going to be interesting to try. Of course, all this is going to be, you know, it's got a shine to it now, but it'll all be covered with um, a flat clear. And I can feel just a little bit of the you know, the uh, line where the paint comes. So hopefully I can 
that'll pretty much go away when I get a clear coat on it. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys where I was and kind of explain what I was thinking about with this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and call this good for right now. I'll put some pictures up at the end of this before and after. Uh, with the, I've still got the headlights to paint. There's a several decals that go on the front of this and then I've got the mirrors so there's still some work to do on this but uh, it's coming along pretty good I think it looks pretty good okay alright you guys have a great day I'll talk to you again real soon okay bye bye